Martin here, thank you for joining me for this week's Turner's Journey. I hope you're all well and you have had super creative weeks and weekends in your workshops. Uh, as you can see, again this week, I'm not in my own workshop. That's because I'm not allowed to be there. Um, I had some minor surgery the other day and I'm not allowed to be um, in the workshop or, or doing anything particularly physical until tomorrow, which is uh, Sunday. Um, but that hasn't stopped me being really productive uh, administration wise this week um, as you may have seen as you may have seen uh, on on the website and on my facebook page um, but first off before i kick into all that i've got to say a big thank you to everybody who came along to last week's open day uh, i had a great day it was lovely to see some people some people that i met up at ukis and a few others for the first time so thank you very much indeed for coming um, we talked wood turning, we drank some coffee, um, Chris Stocker decorated um, a pre-turned vase that he'd made with the reactive paints and stuff, a um, little bit of pyrography and I did a, um, a demonstration where I turned this ash bowl. Um, there is a story around this ash bowl, um, I thought I'd colour it but the colouring didn't work so I ripped it off, then I coloured it black, that didn't work so I ripped it off um, and in the end I just left it natural, <laughs> which is what I should have done in the first place. Um, but in the in the figure here, what I have done is I've put some um, liming wax, the Hampshire Sheen tie wax, um, in the figure of the wood. I don't know if that comes out particularly well. Um, but yeah, I turned that and um, as a little demonstration, and uh, I really like it. It's a lovely, lovely bowl. Um, also this week, um, I saw... Um, what was it, the Daniel, no, it was last week actually, the Daniel Collection posted a link on Facebook for a Halloween book by Mark Sanger. Um, so I thought, you know what, I'm getting into Halloween a little bit and I think a book like this would be really good, a really good kind of starting place because otherwise I'm just going to be <laughs> st sticking the, uh, the, the uh, Sorby Ultima into pieces of wood and uh, hoping for the best. So I picked up this book. Um, Turning, Hollowing, Turning Hollow Forms by Mark Sanger, uh, £16.99 and um, it's brilliant. I haven't had a chance to look at it properly yet um, but it looks to be really good so I'm going to be reading that and inwardly digesting and uh, putting into practice what I learned from the book which I will communicate to you over time. Also this week, you would have seen that um, Hampshire Sheen microcrystalline wax is um, available. I'm, I'm going to start producing this um, tomorrow when I'm allowed back in the workshop. Um, I can start producing that tomorrow and that will be um, dispatched as of well the beginning of next week, Tuesday, Wednesday probably. Um, and I'm really, really pleased with how this particular wax has come out. Well, I'm pleased with all of them, but this one is awesome. Um, it is as good as the market leaders and it is half the price. But there will be how-to videos about that. Also the Karna Crystalline sticks, um, the moulds that I've been waiting for from China um, finally arrived um, and I cast or I poured some of the Karna Crystalline wax into the moulds and they came out like this. Um, I didn't like them, I don't like them um, very much, so I've gone with a different shape, um, I've gone with a different shape of um, wax which is like a, a bullion shape, kind of like that, so it's got the angles on it, so if you're turning spindles or, or finials then you've got a, an angle that you can get the, get the wax into the, into the nooks and crannies on your spindle and it's a much nicer, much nicer shape, it feels nicer in the hand as well. Um, so I've bagged up, oop, I've bagged up a load of those. They come like that, which is uh, simple, simple but effective, and it does the job. Um, but I'm not, I'm not even happy with that. Um, and I was thinking um, when I got out of hospital the other day, what can I do to kind of make those better? Um, so I thought about having a mould made, and I was chatting to a friend on Facebook, and then pennies started to drop and I got hold of um, a, a very old school friend of mine well he's not very old but I've known him for years 
Um, and he has a 3D printer, so I um, downloaded Google SketchUp and started having a bit of a play with it um, to come up with a, a shape similar to this. And I came up with this, which I think is um, a much more suitable kind of um, mould shape for this kind of wax because Libron have Libron written on theirs, the beeswax ones have beeswax written on it so if I've got Carna Crystalline why not have Hampshire Sheen Carna Crystalline written on it. So I'm going to send that over to my mate James and see if he's able to 3D print it for me and then I'll be able to cast a silicon mould over the top of that and then I'll be able to cast um, all the waxes with Hampshire Sheen Carna Crystalline written on it. So that's that's the plan. That's the plan for that. And I have some other plans um, as well. Uh, the 100% natural wax that I was trying last week, um, that ended up a little bit too hard. So I'm having to um, adjust the, um, the mixtures um, of that to try and get um, a softer wax, um, which will be 100% natural. So I'm looking forward to trying that tomorrow as well if I can. If not, then it'll be Monday. Uh, next week, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, 5th, 6th and 7th of August. Don't forget I'm demonstrating for three days down at the um, uh, uh, Portsmouth Historic Dockyard um, at Boathouse Number 4. That's a free event. They've got loads of stuff going on. Um, and entry to the dockyard is completely free. You only need to pay if you want to go and visit and have a look around HMS Warrior, HMS Victory or the Mary Rose. Everything else there um, to go into and have a look at is completely free. But there are some other things that you might need to pay for as well. But entry is free. Um, next week I am going to have some videos out. Um, I'm, I'm going to video Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday and maybe Thursday. Um, I need to get some Hampshire Sheen how-to videos done. I also need to do another project video for you guys and also a beginner's project. But seeing as I'm home alone, um, I've got plenty of time and there are 24 hours in the day that I can edit. So, so all good. Thank you very much indeed and uh, I am going to go now and I'll see you next week. Bye for now.